Flamingos flock to Kenya's Lake Begoria. The chemistry of the lake is harsh, but here, the lesser flamingos' primary food can grow. And in some ways, they are a litmus test, a measure of the lake's health. Nearby springs provide a constant supply of fresh water. In these fresh-running streams, the flamingos drink, having dined in the caustic waters of the lake. They bathe and preen to wash away Gregoria's minerals, which could turn their feathers to stone and ground them forever. By some estimates, more than a million flamingos flock to Begoria. This year, the flamingos keep coming, massing in huge flocks, like a spreading pink plague. Begoria is being pushed past the breaking point. The flamingos swarm over the lake like eating machines. The caustic waters breed a blue-green algae called spirulina. For the lesser flamingos, it is the staff of life. The powerful tongue pumps water like a piston. The beak is a highly efficient filter. So efficient, perhaps, that they may be overgrazing the waters or worse. The flamingos spend hour after hour on the lake, eating and defecating, stuck in a potentially lethal cycle. For more than a million birds, Bogoria's waters may well be turning from a nourishing soup into a poisonous sewer. Hundreds of birds fall ill each day. By January, nearly 50,000 birds are dead, one of the single largest die-offs ever recorded. Everywhere the birds turn, they face death. And so they fly. They leave the darkened waters of Begoria by the hundreds of thousands. The flamingos settle to the south on the waters of Lake Nakuru, another of the rift's alkaline lakes. Here at Nakuru, they have found a place with food and a new harmony, at least for now. Turned to feed, the flamingo's frown changes into a patient smile, timeless, almost serene.